The Ranger comes in three trim levels, XL, XLT and Lariat in both Super Cab, Extended, and Super Crew, four-door, configurations. In addition to the FX4 package, customers can opt for Chrome and Sport appearance packages. While the old Ranger saw service in a lot of fleets, Ford is marketing the new Ranger toward a lifestyle-oriented market and isn't offering stripped-down models. Instead, the Ranger is aimed at the crowd interested in getting outdoors, since all of the marketing materials show people using the new Ranger to go camping, off-roading, cycling, climbing, and the like. If you want a work truck, look to the F-150. The interior appears to be straight from the Global Ranger, though we'll have to get a good look in person to spot any differences. There's an available 8-inch display for Ford's Sync 3 infotainment system. Sync 3 has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Amazon Alexa integration. Ford Pass Connect gives customers Wi-Fi access for up to 10 devices through a Ford GLTE modem. Active safety features include blind spot monitoring with trailer coverage, pre-collision assist, lane keep and lane departure assist and automatic cruise control. Pricing hasn't been announced, but expect it to start at the low to mid dollar 20 comma 000 range. A base Colorado starts at $21,195, while a Tacoma will set you back at least $24,480, though both of those are about as stripped down as a modern vehicle gets. Look for the Ranger to hit showrooms later this year.